The question of what is black inspired this quest. Okay, are you ready? Yes, I am. Are you recording? Fumbling through our own black identity, we as filmmakers set out to speak to people who have often been considered not black enough to find out what exactly that meant. Um, okay. Can I go? We road tripped around to find people who would help shed light on this important question. The first stop was Jedu, a St. Andrew's old boy. When I was younger, I thought I was better than everyone else, that's why I was a chief boy. But now, like, growing up, I'm like, no, no, you shouldn't think of yourself as better than other people. And then Lissetti, who dived into the issue of assimilation and how whiteness shaped her interests. You know, went out of my way to show that I listen to certain types of music. You know, I'd go to certain places, even if I wasn't that keen to go to those places, I would do that. And then we spoke to a fence. We tackled the idea of isolation and tension with other black people. I think also another reason why I never really felt accommodated by black girls because I always felt like on some level I'm being judged because I'm not like enough. I'm not black enough. But really this all began with us questioning our own relation to blackness. Of the many questions we've asked, the first was, how did we relate to the word coconut? Growing up, I was called a coconut, but as I got older, it became less and less. I've been called a coconut my whole life. I've never been called a coconut, but I'm aware of how people perceive my blackness. If you think you're black, you're black. I don't think it I'm just kidding, we're not gonna insert that. <laughs> so what is black? Coming soon.